Um, good morning in the precious and wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be greeted, my dear beloved, this day. I want to thank the Lord again and bless God. And I want to follow up with the topic that has been, I've been pursuing on the power of prayer, the power of prayer. And I want us to right away continue to read. Let's read today in the book of Jeremiah, verse, uh, chapter 33, verse 3, that says, Call unto me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. And where we have read this day, as we begin the day, one of the things that which I wanted to look at is prayer is a way of communicating. It's a two-way communication with God. In other words, as you pray, you are in conversation with God and God in the scripture, in the book of Jeremiah, speaking to his prophet Jeremiah, he actually promised, he called Jeremiah to come to him and pray. It's a summoning of God or a calling of God. God is calling us to come and pray and speak to him. And he has promised to also give the answer to prayer. In other words, it's an invitation with a promise already set, ready for you. God is willing and is calling that you call him and he is asking you to ask him to respond and to respond to the calling of speaking to him. And he says, I will answer you. You know, God in this point is pledging you, is pledging himself that he will answer you when you call upon him. God is a God who answers the prayer. Isn't it amazing that sometimes people would be reluctant to call upon the Lord because they may think God is not listening? But this morning, God is saying, you call unto me, and when you call unto me, I will listen to you, and I will answer you. I will not only listen, but I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things, he said, and unsearchable things that you do not know. In other words, God has promised to actually, you know, answer you. He has promised to reveal things that are not known to you. Isn't it wonderful to know that God is saying you are, so he is actually God promises to exceed you know the, the answering and uh, give you more than what you have asked in other words he will even give you things that you do not know things that are unsearchable things that things those, those things that may not be known by just an ordinary man or an ordinary thinking or without praying you might not know in whatever situation, whatever circumstance or trouble that you might find find yourself in. God said, call unto me. And I, I encourage you, dear beloved, that this morning, call unto the Lord. Whatever the difficulties or the impossibilities you may be facing, call unto the Lord. The Bible in the book of um, James chapter 4 verse 8, it says, you know, come near to God and he will come near to you. When you come. It's an initiative that God is waiting for you to can actually call upon him. This morning, don't hesitate. Don't be quiet on God. Call unto him. Call unto him. And God is listening to you. Don't worry about the fanciness of the words of the beautiful words that you may need, you may need to organize. Just call unto him. He's waiting for you. God, our Father, is the chief audience in prayer. In other words, the one that is listening, you have an undivided attention from the Lord. You have got an, an undivided attention of God to, to actually listen to you, that when you speak, is listening and is about to answer your prayer in this way. As I close this morning, I want to say, God is ready to answer your cry, the cry of humans 
friends, even in the situation you may be facing, we are facing today, let us call unto the name of the Lord. And God desires to hear you in prayer. And may the Lord bless you. And God said, when he will call me and I will hear him and I will be with him in trouble and I will deliver him and honor him. God said, then you will call upon me. And when you call upon me, I will hear you and I will respond to you. May the Lord bless you as you call upon the Lord because prayer is powerful. Prayer to God is powerful and you are praying to your mighty God. God bless you this morning. Amen.